It's Monday, and uh, if you missed my video last Friday, this may be a little confusing, but I've been in a bit of a funk lately, and I am really trying hard to pull out of it. Yesterday was my food prep day, and I had this laundry list of things that I was going to do to get stuff ready for this week to make my life easier, and I did exactly one of them, um, and that was prep my breakfast casserole and honestly it was a miracle that I did that <laughs> normally I would prep that in the morning let it sit in the fridge all day bake it in the evening so that it would be ready to go but like I said it was all I could do just to throw it together and get it in the fridge so today is my very first semaglutide compound injection and I'm really nervous about it I know that sounds strange because I've been doing Wegovy and Manjaro for like a year and a half now, but I've never had to deal with an actual needle before. <laughs> um, you know, the pens are all self-contained, so I've had kind of a needle phobia my whole life, and um, so the thought of actually looking at a needle and dealing with a needle is kind of freaking me out. I am very excited because I'm going to be able to go back to injecting in my arms. That's what I did with Wegovy and. I mean, I don't think it has any connection, but I did lose the most weight then. But more than anything, it was just a lot easier to deal with and it didn't hurt as much, honestly. My thighs hurt the most, my stomach was fine, but my arms were the easiest. So this is the semaglutide compound and I've been keeping it in the refrigerator and I, my doctor put me straight to the 2.4 milligram. I'm a little nervous because I haven't taken a shot in two weeks, but I've taken a two week break from my shots before and not had any issues starting back up on the meds, so I should be fine. Yes, mistakes were made. But basically I'm gonna take this little prep pad and I'm gonna clean the top of the bottle. And then I'm going to clean the area where I'm going to inject. To make sure it doesn't get contaminated. I'm gonna let that dry. You can see the needle, it's so tiny. And I'm doing 48 units. So little magnet. We have to take this little cap off first. 48. Okay. And do this without looking because it freaks me out. wasn't that bad. It hurt less than the pens sometimes do and more than the pens sometimes do. Most of the time I don't feel the pens at all, like in terms of the needle. No blood. Well, here's hoping that the side effects don't get crazy. And then this goes back in. They give you a little dark colored baggie so that it doesn't get messed up by the light in your fridge. And then this is going to go in my sharps container. If you don't have a sharps container, I have a link down in my description always in all of my videos that will take you to a free sharps container from Eli Lilly. Anyway, I'm going to put this stuff away and clean this up and my things should be done baking in two minutes and then we'll have some breakfast. So while that's finishing up, I will show you how I threw together the casserole. This is a macro friendly food recipe, but it's one of the ones she has on her Instagram, so I will have the link to the recipe down in the description. If you don't know what macro-friendly food is, <laughs> welcome to my channel. It's a high-protein meal planning app, so it's got like over 700 high-protein recipes. They're all pre-logged in my fitness pal and macros first and lose it. So it just makes tracking and meal planning a million times easier for me, which is a task that I do not enjoy. So anything I can do to make that easier on myself makes it easier for me to stay on task. So, let me show you how I threw it together.
this is a massive serving of food. That 9 by 13 pan is only six servings. And so it's like 8.9 ounces of food. And it's 361 calories. Um, well, it's slightly more for mine because I used whole milk instead of 2%. I'm switching to maintenance calories this week which means I'm trying to get an extra 250 calories a day. And to be honest, I was struggling getting in the calories that I was getting in on my cut. So I'm, I know I'm not gonna be able to increase volume. So I'm kind of adding more carbs and fat because I'm always way below on carbs and fat and keeping my protein up because I do 30% of my calories from protein. Sorry guys, I'm a little all over the place. My brain is just not, not quite there yet, but I am trying. <laughs> anyway, it's got 29.6 grams of protein plenty of protein and then I'm just having some mango. I'm having a lot more mango than I would normally have just because it is very high calorie. If you're having a hard time going to the bathroom, these guys at constipation care other than the probiotic and the magnesium I take every day. If for some reason I'm still struggling or something, I'll just have a little bit of mango. Just a trick. I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to muster up the motivation to go on a WALK. I don't know I have to spell that because my dog is too smart for his own dang good. It's a day. We're gonna do it. Sorry about the noise in the background. I have Mrs. Doubtfire running. That's my robot vacuum cleaner. I'm just trying to get some housework done. I need to work on those dishes soon. Q just I've got a really bad headache. And I don't know if that's from the shot already or if it's because of some of the food I was eating this weekend or if I'm dehydrated because I haven't been drinking enough water lately. Like there could be any number of reasons, but I am feeling very, sorry, my computer monitor keeps turning on and off. I am also very tired all of a sudden and Feel, my head feels full of cotton and I'm a little light sensitive so I don't know if I'm getting a migraine I don't get those very often like at all so I don't know I don't know I just wanted to check in and let you guys know I'm feeling kind of bleh. it's gonna be fine here in a little bit I'm gonna need to start working on lunch because it's already almost noon I'm nowhere near the vicinity of hungry so that may or may not happen today I don't know. Either way, I'm going to have to get dinner in the crock pot soon. <laughs> hey guys, so I just wanted to check in. I'm struggling. I did not eat lunch because the thought of putting food in my belly made me very nauseous. I have been struggling with waves of nausea and in and out of the bathroom pretty much all afternoon. Um, I did manage to get dinner in the crock pot about an hour ago, which was no small feat. I'm making the crock pot chili macaroni from July's meal plan from Macrofilly Food. So if you're interested in that, there's a link along with a 10% discount code. I'm going to throw together some dressing, which is dressing that I was going to make for my lunches. Lunches this week, I'm having some burger salads, uh, but I'm doing, it's kind of like a Mexican spin because it's a hatch turkey burger that I get from H-E-B that's really good. And I'm gonna do a double patty with lettuce, tomato, cotija cheese, pickled red onions, and also some avocado, cilantro, lime dressing. And um, it's kind of a twist on the avocado mayo from that chicken BLT salad I did a while back and also the cilantro lime dressing that El Torito uses on their Mexican Caesar salad, only way lower fat and higher protein. So I will definitely include the recipe down in the comments because it's kind of my own creation. And then I'll show you guys me throwing that together really quick because that should be quite delicious both on a salad to go with my chili mac tonight and on my burger salads that I'll be able to do hopefully the rest of this week, provided that my stomach cooperates with me. <laughs> so I'm gonna prep some of my salad ingredients for this week so that hopefully the rest of the week it'll be a lot easier for me to put that together and eat it and I'm gonna make my dressing. Let's do this. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to be. 
course I didn't record that. Good morning, guys. Yeah, so you lost me yesterday. Uh, I was, it was kind of a miserable day. Um, feeling slightly better today, but still, like, the jury's still out. I just ate breakfast and my stomach's kind of doing its thing. Uh, I was up every three hours in the middle of the night last night going to the bathroom. Stepped on the scale this morning and I lost so much weight that my scale actually asked me if I was the same person. Yep, almost nine pounds of poop and water weight. <laughs> You know, it's going to be fine. So I don't know that today is going to be that much better. I'm getting ready to throw dinner. Hi, baby. I'm getting ready to throw dinner and I'm going to marinate some honey mustard pork chops. Uh, it's another macro-friendly food recipe from this month. It calls for pork loin chops. And I think I've talked about this before. Anytime a recipe calls for pork loin, I always substitute pork tenderloin. It's pretty much the same amount of calories and fat, but for whatever reason, it's just like pork loin is so dry. I just, and it's, it's tough and I'm just not a fan. I've tried doing it a million different ways. I've even tried cooking it in the sous vide to make sure that it doesn't get overcooked and it still is just dry and chalky and it's just, I just don't like it. So I'm just going to take pork tenderloin and cut it into chops and then we'll marinate it. It really is better if it marinates overnight, but I was not in any shape last night to try and throw a marinade together. Honestly, it was a miracle that I got dinner together. I actually ate dinner because I did not eat lunch. I started with a very small portion and thankfully it settled okay. So I ate a little bit more. I did not eat my salad because the thought of eating roughage was like, mm. But I got food in me and I did eat my creamy last night. The dark chocolate creamy is still on rotation. It's on repeat. I ate it with the Reese's Pieces Puffs, the minis. It's so good and it's just easy to throw together because I have the recipe memorized at this point. If you missed that one, I'll link the recipe here for you guys. Um, it was just a short that I did not that long ago. Um, if you don't have a creamy, you can always throw the recipe mix in ice cube trays and you can throw it in a blender with some extra milk. It'll probably be more like a milkshake than an ice cream. Or if you have an ice cream machine, you can throw the base in the ice cream machine and I'm sure it'll work just fine. It's a light ice cream, so it's not one that you'll be able to like freeze and then eat later like it will freeze to like a solid block because it's not it doesn't have enough sugar in it to make it creamy and like scoopable after it's been mixed up if you don't know that's what makes ice cream scoopable is all the sugar that's in it <laughs> that's why light ice creams like halo top and all of those are so hard and you have to let them soften first it's because they don't have the sugar content because sugar is hydrophobic so it or yeah, I think that's the right word, hydrophobic, and attracts water. Anyway, my house is still a disaster. I'm gonna try to get a little laundry done today. I worked on the dishes three different times yesterday and they're still not done. Basically, anytime I was standing for more than five or 10 minutes yesterday, I would get a wave of nausea and some, like a headache, and then I would have to sit back down again so that I didn't throw up. And then every couple of hours I was in the bathroom, so. It's my own fault. I knew I had skipped a couple weeks of shots, which I had done before, but I was always going back to the same drug that I had been on. And so I really should have, like I had kind of the idea to maybe do like a half dose yesterday, but I didn't because I'm a silly goose and now I'm paying for it. At least I hope that's the case, because if it's going to be this way every week, that's going to be a problem for me. So we will see. I don't think I'm really going to be filming much today because I'm still not feeling super great. But I did want to make sure I popped on here and at least say goodbye to y'all. This was kind of an attempt to do a daily vlog to see how long it would take me to edit it. Like if I did just one day. Helios, enough. He's crying at me because he wants to go for a WALK -okay, and I'm not feeling up to it at the moment. Anyway, 
I wanted to see how long it would take me to edit a video if I just did one day. And so we'll see if that's something that I can start managing. I didn't expect to feel so poopy. <laughs> I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to support my content, feel free to visit my Buy Me A Coffee page, like the video, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. We're on a journey, looking back on the things that we've taken for granted, but feels like we're learning to be better.